So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And our live game is Barcelona against Real Madrid. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. So the players and officials stand tall for the anthem. Barcelona decide to name a starting 11 that looks like this. Bravo keeps goal. Pique, Mascherano, Daniel Alves, Jordi Alba, Sergio Busquets, Rakitic, Iniesta, Messi, Neymar, Luis Suarez, tasked with leading the line. Real Madrid play away from home. Casillas takes the gloves. And Pepe, Sergio Ramos. Daniel Carvajal, Marcelo, Tony Kroos, Modric, James Rodriguez, Bale, Cristiano Ronaldo, Benzema, tasked with scoring goals. Well, you can feel the sense of occasion here. El Clasico, one of world football's great occasions. No rivalry more intense. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? It's Casillas for me, because if he gets a little busy in this game, he has the talent and vast experience to cope with pretty much anything. He can be an extremely reassuring presence here. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Wonderful goal! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. PK tries making a foray down the right. James Rodriguez plays a clever pass. Keeper's ball. Jordi Alba. Barcelona are already trailing here early on. They cannot afford to let this get worse. Well, it can be very hard to regroup and work your way back into the match, but they've got time. Iniesta looking to penetrate opposition lines. Luis Suarez. And he would surely have scored there more times than not. Bale. Daniel Carvajal. He needed to come up with a better ball. 
Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too that wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass it. Only needed just a little bit more behind it, and he was through. Good hit, kept the keeper honest. been taken short, aimed in towards the centre. Luis Suarez. Walk forward, what does he try from here? Looks like a good ball through, out towards the flank. Modric! Good stop, that wasn't easy. And that's a really instinctive stop too. Great reflexes to make it happen. I thought he showed class there. Tries a header! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Mascherano. Iniesta. Neymar with the ball through. Jordi Alba. And the volley. Oh, he's missed it. Well, that's understandable because they haven't found it easy against this defence. And shooting from that sort of range, it's not the answer. Mascherano, Rakitic, Luis Suarez. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Fine defending there. Now it's Benzema. Barcelona somehow escaped the danger. That was a tight call though. Another piece of really good defending. Bale. Now the pass. That's a throw. Rakitic. Pepe positions himself well and cuts it out. Modric. Messi. Fine defending there. James Rodriguez. Tries the route one option. Sergio Busquets. And it's Neymar. Tries to stroke it through. Cut out in the nick of time. And we've reached half time. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. Gets things going for the second half. Well, it seems like the perfect situation for Fortune favouring the Brave. 45 minutes to pack in enough risk-taking to get this match turned around. It's very doable. Well, that was a really awkward one for the goalkeeper to deal with. Now it's Messi. Sergio Ramos. Tony Kroos. Jordi Alba. Modric passes it through. Bravo catches it safely. Iniesta. Neymar. Luis Suarez. Barcelona still trailing by one. And looking here to take it up a notch after the break. Marcelo does well to read it and intercepts. Looks to slip it through. Balls loose. Who's getting there? It's a goal! And with that goal comes comfort. 
Bravo did well the first time, nothing he could do about the follow-up. Look, that's one of the first things you learn, whether you're a striker or not. Just anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage, and sometimes you'll get lucky, it'll come your way. Barcelona look as though they're about to make a change. PK. Luis Suarez tries a through ball. Fence has got rid of that. Now it's Messi. That was glorious, pinpoint accuracy. Well, once upon a time I was harsh on goalkeepers, but now I'm more sympathetic because the ball moves all over the place these days and we've just seen it again. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and, and very nearly made them pay. Now the pass. Messi, Neymar, it's in! Great header, made it look easy. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. This has become one superb game of football. Yeah, in a game like this, every chance is vital, but they're back on level terms. And it's Marcelo. Cristiano Ronaldo gets into a good position. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Barcelona still contemplating when to use their last remaining substitute. Tries to dink it in. Just about here, the collective sigh there. They know they got away with one. Neymar with the ball through. Real Madrid emerge unscathed. They were right up against it. Benzema passes it through. Carvajal. Bale already, of course, on the score sheet. Looks like a good ball through. And that's a goal kick. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. <laughs> Mascherano. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Benzema. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. ball has gone out of play. Bale's cross. And that's not the cross he had in mind. Looks to slip it through. 
Now it's Messi. And Messi! I hope support won't enjoy that. Or maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. It's come loose. Bale has a look inside the box. Benzema. Oh, he's got that all wrong, and it's a penalty. Oh, the protests are futile. The decision is made. Late, late drama. Referee's got a decision to make here. Oh, there's his decision. He's off. Goal! Real Madrid! Of course, a mere formality. Well, the keeper certainly guessed right, but there was enough power to find the target. Real Madrid take what looks to be a decisive lead. Barcelona cannot afford for this to peter out. There just isn't time left. Modric. Tony Kroos. James Rodriguez. Modric. And it's Bale. Daniel Carvajal. Looking up to see who wants it. Modric. Big chance here. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Cristiano Ronaldo. And now the finish. More pressure on the opposition goal. Well, I wonder if their profligacy will rebound on them somehow. You know, they're very much on the up here, and yet they can't convert a string of very decent opportunities. And the referee brings it to a close. Barcelona lose by the odd goal. It could have gone either way, but that is no consolation. Well, how will we look back on that? Yeah, defeat in, in any of these type of games is, is the ultimate disappointment. You can't fault the effort and the endeavour we saw, but they probably just lacked a, a little adventure and not enough ambition in their play, and ultimately I think they paid the price.